hi everyone let's provide the solution to this problem we have square root of k over 2 square root of 2 over k equals 4 okay so how do we deal with this um problem there are several ways we can deal with this but then let's use this method we have k over 2 under 1 square root sign. So that means we have k over 2. Both of them raised to the power of 1 over 2. Then multiply by this right here is under 2 square root sign. So we have 2 over k multiplied by 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. Because it is under 2 square root sign. And this is equal to, you know, this is equal to 4. Now we have k over 2 to the power of 1 over 2. Multiply by 2 over k to the power of 1 over 4 equals 4. Okay, so as it is now, this is k over 2 to the power of 1 over 2. 2 over k they are not the same thing the base here are not the same so let me work on the let me work on 2 over k i can turn this 2 over k to k over 2 the only thing that will change is the is the sign of the power so this is plus 1 over 4 now it turns to negative 1 over 4 and then on the other hand we have 4 now, if we continue from here, we are going to pick one of the bases on the left because the bases are the same now, and that is k over 2. Then to the power of 1 over 2 plus 1 uh, plus minus 1 over 4. It is supposed to be plus because of this multiplication. But then addition and negative and multiplication. Okay, addition and um, negative will be meeting there, so negative will take um, will take control. So we are going to have negative one over four because of this, and everything is equal to four. Okay, so let's continue. We have k over two to the power of the LCM of the power is four. Then 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 1 is 2. 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 1 is 1. So this is equal to 4. Now if we continue, we have k over 2 to the power of 1. 2 minus 1 is 1 over 4. And this is equal to 4. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so our target now is to remove this power. And we are having k over 2 to the power of 1 over 4. To remove this power, we will multiply the power by 4. And then the multiplication, the power here, will reflect on the other side. So we have 4 here. Now, this is going with this. So we have k over 2. And that will be 4 to the power of 4. That will give us um, 256. 256. This is over 1, right? So we will now say k times 1 is k. Then 2 times 256 is 512. So this right here is the value of k. But like we always do, we verify our result. So let's put it back into the equation and verify. Okay, so the equation is square root of k over 2, square root of 2 over k, everything equal to 4. Now in place of k, what do I write? 512. 512 over 2. Then square root of 2 over 512 
will this be equal to 1? That is the question we are answering. Now, we are going to have square root of 5 divided by 2 will give us will give us 256 then multiply by or let me just write the square root square root of 2 into 1 2 into 2 it's 1 rather then 2 into 512 is 256 now these two terms are both perfect squares so we can find their square root square root of 256 then multiply by once you clear the square root don't put any square root sign again square root of 1 is 1 and square root of 256 is 16 but this is still under a square root sign so do not find the square root of this separately just divide what we have there or if you want to find their square root separate, um, separately, you will see half your value. So now, we have square root of 16 can go into this 16 times. Okay, and these times 1 is the same thing. So the square root of 16 is definitely 4. But I want to do this in another way. Imagine I want to do it this way. Square root of 256 multiply by 1 over 16 now what if I want to find the square root of each of them separately I think it's possible square root of 256 is um that will give 16 right so we have 16 then square root of 1 is 1 square root of 16 will give 4 now at the end of the day 4 into 16 will give 4 Okay, so that is what we had, and um, it's very correct. But then, here is one thing you should know. If you have this addition, let's say you have to find the square root of um, 16, multiply by the square root, multiply by the square root of 4. Now, you can decide to take the square root before multiplying these two terms. So, you have square root of 16 is 4 times square root of um, 4 that will be 2 at the end of the day we have 8 now if it is if it is um, how do you call it addition here you don't do it without simplifying for example if you have square root of 16 minus square um, square root of 4 let me write 4 here this time around you cannot say this should be equal to square root of 16 is 4 and square root of 4 is 2 okay this right here cannot be equal to that because if you follow this this is going to give us 2 right but then if you follow the standard that means you simplify what you have inside 16 minus 4 that will give us um that will give us um 12 now, square root of 12 can never give us 2 here. So, we know what to do. If you want to do deal with them separately, it must be multiplication. Or else, you simplify before you find the square root. Thank you for watching. And if you have not subscribed, subscribe to my channel.